Welcome back everybody, MC here with another video and today we are going to be continuing our Terraria playthrough. It's our expert playthrough, it started in 1.3 and it is continuing in 1.4. It has a lot of the new updates but it doesn't have the new biomes and I'm actually not sure about the bosses. I believe some of the bosses are in the game, if not all of them. Uh, but we will have to find that out when we get to hard mode since the bosses aren't really early game anyway. So what we're doing today is you noticed in our last video we fought Queen B. And I'm in a small world in this playthrough. So I actually ran out of Queen B spawns. I must have fought her about three times to farm for the honeycomb. Now the honeycomb isn't exactly the most important item in the game, but it is very useful against Skeletron. So I said I might actually take it. And the reason why it's so good actually is because the shark tooth netless and the honeycomb can be combined together now, which is new in the 1.4 update. So I want to farm Queen B, but I'm out of Queen B spawns or natural spawns. So we're gonna have to make our own. So to make your own Queen B spawn, the most awkward ingredient is it's honey blocks. And honey blocks are made by putting water into honey and farming the blocks. It's awkward and it can be a pain to find water and honey near each other. I got very lucky here. I have a, a water reservoir and I have honey already spilled on the left. So I'm gonna collect those blocks and then I will be able to make the spawner for queen bee and as you can see i'm still using auto pause if you notice that the game decides to stop moving very regularly throughout my playthroughs because i use auto pause it's a good way for me to focus on what i'm saying and not have to focus too much on getting uh, killed while i'm saying it so i can stay nice and relaxed and do a proper playthrough for you guys and i actually do recommend auto pause if you're in master mode even if you're playing on your own but i suppose as when you're creating content for this game it can be a pain to try and talk while you're getting killed it ends up getting you killed more often than you might think so we're gonna spawn queen bee and try and get this damn ingredient that i've been looking for for ages in this playthrough um obviously you only saw my main attempt at queen bee and we managed to get the bee's knees, which is way more important than the honeycomb. But I definitely think the honeycomb is an important item also. So as you can see, we are going to be able to create the spawner for Queen Bee. And if I remember correctly, you don't need to be at an altar for this or at an anvil. You can literally just spawn it wherever you want. All you have to have is the ingredients on your character. So. First of all, anyway, I'm going to sell a couple of items just to get some inventory space and some gold because in master mode in particular, I know where this is expert and it's very important in expert, but it's even more important in master mode. When you're playing in this game on master mode, you need every penny you can get for when you do reforging later on. So try and save as much gold as you can and platinum for the end game because it's going to cost you a fortune to try and get menacing or uh, guarding or warding on your accessories late game so definitely save every pen you can and i usually as you can see i only have one chest a lot of people give out to me for doing a one chest playthrough the reason why i do a one chest playthrough is simple i'm going to be selling almost everything i have and the reason why i'm selling it is so i can save up for that end game gold grind that i need later on a lot of people recommend farming. Uh, I, I like farming in this game. I think it's a lot of fun, but I personally don't do it. By the time you have set up a farm end game, which takes about an hour to do, if you do a proper one, uh, you could have just saved that hour by selling everything throughout the entire playthrough. And it's more fun too. Uh, but the best thing about my playthroughs is I played so much Terraria at this stage, I know what I need and what I don't need. Sometimes I get that rare occasion where I sell an item and I need it, or I could have used it for something cool, but I never really kill off my playthrough by selling an item by accident. 
Yeah, you can always get another one anyway. Most items in this game can be grinded from enemies. So we're going back now to fight the queen bee again and see if we can get this bloody honeycomb. Honeycomb, of course, is one of the more common drops from queen bee. So naturally, I'm not getting it when I kill queen bee. It's the way Terraria always works. You are looking for something. You can't find it. As soon as you find it once, you get it every time. If you don't want something, you end up dropping it and you either sell it or you just store it away and you don't realize that you need it later on. But whenever you want something in this game, the game knows. It knows exactly what you're farming and it doesn't give it to you for ages. It's a pain to hold. Best Terraria. And that's what makes Terraria so special as well. It's the only single player experience, maybe one of two or three games actually, that you have to grind for items and they're quite difficult to get, but yet it's not an MMO, it's a single player experience. I think Starbound has that as well, so that's why I mentioned that it might be one of two or three games, but Terraria definitely stands out as a, as the, the best one out of the, those type of games. So back to the jungle we go, back to the grind, back to the fray, and we're gonna use our spawner for Queen Bee. So I'm not going to show you the entire fight because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to grind Queen Bee a couple of times. I'll just literally show you me spawning her in and then after me spawning her in, I'll show you what I get at the end. That way you don't have to watch the fight again and again because technically you've already seen the entire fight in the last episode of our Terraria playthrough. First of all, let's do some inventory management, especially as I said, I'm in the jungle, I'm on auto pause, so I'm completely safe from enemies. So let's do some inventory management and try and solve my space issues that I have. And we also have the witch doctor from the last time that we killed Queen Bee. You saw me placing him in there. He's gonna be very important later on. So here we go. As I said, I spawned her in, but I skipped the fight itself. It was, it's always a pretty easy fight when it comes to Queen Bee. You might have to heal once with the nurse if you're using the autopause. Although in 1.4 on PC, they have nerfed the nurse use or autopause mechanic, whatever you want to call it. So once you click on her heal or once you click on shop in this game, um, it unpauses the game. So you can no longer use autopause properly on Queen Bee. They've definitely changed this game a lot, and I think they changed it for the better. When I did my Master Mode playthrough, uh, since the change, and you can no longer use the nurse the way you used to be able to, and the way you have to fight bosses is a lot more fun than it used to be, I find. So, like, obviously I could have done that before as well, but in the current system or the current setup that they have, you've no other options, so it's way more fun to do it the way they've, they've changed it to. So we got the beekeeper. I'm not really interested in the beekeeper, so I'm gonna sell that. It doesn't really change into anything that I want. I know that it's probably uh, something that a lot of people would keep, but I want the gold and I don't need the beekeeper. So we're gonna put our money away. And unfortunately we didn't get the honeycomb. So we're gonna have to fight Queen Bee again. So let's craft another spawner and let's go again. Once again, I won't show you the whole fight. I will just show you the start and the end, and see if we get the honeycomb this time. Once again, easy enough fight, nothing going on, and we're going to pick up the treasure bag, and we're going to sort out some of my inventory first, as usual, and so that there's space for the drops, and then we're going to sell the excess. And we have gotten the honeycomb, yes, I saw it come up there. So finally, at the, at the bottom left of, your, of my inventory, as you can see, uh, the honeycomb is sitting there and that will be put with the shark tooth necklace and we will create uh, a better form of the shark tooth necklace which will release bees upon damage and the bees will be stronger because of the hive packs and i will do extra penetrative penetrative uh, damage i think it's a penetration damage isn't it uh, either way it doesn't matter english is hard guys uh, right, so I'm going to sell all these items. I don't need extras, and I don't know if I need the bee gun at, e at all either. I mean, it's a magic-based weapon. I'm not really doing magic at the moment. I have... The bee gun will fall off before hard mode. I'll have the assault work... Uh, uh, clockwork assault rifle, 
uh, by Wall of Flesh. So we shouldn't need to be gone, I don't think. So that's pretty much it. Guys, that is it for our farming of Queen Bee. We will be back next time with our first attempts at Skeletron. So I have to create the arena first and I have to, of course, fight Skeletron and then we can go into the dungeon. So thank you very much for hanging out with us and check out our other videos in the series. I'll be back very soon and bye bye.